So gotta do Gabon. Next up, uh, we did Georgia, Granada. Granada is next. So yay, Granada. And then we got uh, okay. I see where we're at. So we might just finish off this page today. We'll do uh, three quick videos, and uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. Awesome. So let's do Granada. Granada is another one of these Caribbean island nations that we love so much. And we'll cross it off our list. So Granada is persona non grata. Now is it Granada or Grenada? We'll have to get out our pronunciator. The pronunciator. No more Granada. Bye, Granada. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So, Granada. This is the uh, business end of the coin. And then... Of course, as you know, the uh, obverse of the coin, uh, these Scottsdale Mint coins are all kind of very similar. Let's see. Uh, I have, ah, here. So the front end, I, I'm just leaving it in the packaging, but it's going to look something like this. Yeah. Granada from the year 2022. And again, I want to thank Scottsdale Mint because if it weren't for them, a lot of these countries would be very difficult to get coins for. So I just want to say that. Yay, Scottsdale. All right, now I also want to remind you guys that not every uh, country's collection is going to take these. Uh, particular coins because some people are real sticklers and they only want coins that were meant for circulation uh, or other people I've heard they just won't take bullion uh, if it's 0.999 it's not fine um, well it's fine technically you know fine in definition but it's not fine with them that's what I'm saying so um, obviously it's fine silver by the definition of fine silver but um, you know, in their world, it's not okay. That's what I mean. Fine isn't okay. So this was another one of our fun Scottsdale Mint uh, coins. Um, the very well, yeah, they don't. If they're not in circulation in real money, right? Some people won't accept them as uh, part of this collection. So there's real in the numismatic world. There's some real anal retentive people. But they also say in those same circles, it's your collection, collect it how you want. So, you know, it's really, really interesting uh, dynamic there. So anyway, have you ever heard the nation of Granada? Granada. Let's see if we're pronouncing that right with the pronunciator. Have you heard of Granada? Yeah, you, you, special guest referee. <laughs> That's where we went in to save the American students. That's right, under which president? Do you remember? I don't remember. Oh, President Reagan. Remember that movie Heartbreak Ridge with Clint Eastwood? <laughs> he made a lot of movies. 
Oh, that's true. I, I thought you might remember this one. Heartbreak Ridge, I believe is the name of the film. It has a little uh, nod to this situation. And uh, it's about an old Vietnam vet who's training these new troops. And uh, Mario Van Peebles is involved, as I recall. Um, anyway, let me uh, get the proper pronunciation of Granada. On the Annunciamultator. Here we go. Granada. I've Granada. been saying it right the whole video. Yay. Granada. All right. And now let's look at some particulars Granada. about Granada. Granada. Are you ready? Okay. It's a country in the Caribbean. And it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. I wonder what the... I wonder if it's a uh, one of these countries that's uh, all about the uh, tourism. With maybe some light fishing and a very high crime rate. I wonder. We'll find out. All right. Granada. It's 85 degrees. Oh. Capital is St. George. And here we go. All right, here we go, guys. Are we ready? All right. Granada. Uh, Creole French. And Grenadian and Creole French. So that's the language, I guess. It's an island nation of the West Indies in the Eastern Caribbean Island, the southernmost of the Windward Islands. Granada is directly south of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and about 100 miles north of Trinidad. And uh, the South American mainland. There we go. Here we go. Let's look at the map. We love the map. Oh, look at that. Wow. That is certainly really close to the South American mainland. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. The West Indies. <laughs> Misnomers are fun. All right. So the ethnic groups um, in Granada, 82.4% are African, 13.3% are mixed, 2.2% are Indian, I wonder if that's Indian with a dot or Indian with a feather, that's interesting. Most are Christian, a lot are Catholic, but almost as many are Protestant. There's some Hindu, so that answered that question, dot. Um, and there you go, Rastafariman, okay. They have a unitary parliament, constitutional monarchy, uh, part of the uh, Commonwealth, as we all know, because the Queen's, or probably the King now, but there you go, Charles III. <coughs> they announced uh, in 1967, and I don't know, uh, I guess I'm giving free advertisements for uh, YouTube channels now. Uh, okay, let's get to it here. Uh, Gr Grenadad consists of the island of Granada itself, two smaller islands, Carico and Petit Martinique. I wonder why the names are French and the language is Creole. The British must have stole this island from the French, would be my guess. Yeah. Yeah. So its capital is St. George's. Uh, Granada is also known as the Island of Spice due to its production of nutmeg and mace. Uh, before the arrival of Europeans in America, Granada was inhabited by the indigenous peoples from South America. Christopher Columbus sighted Granada in eight, 1498. During his third voyage, following several unsuccessful attempts by Europeans to colonize the island due to resistance from resident island Caribs, French settlement and colonization began in 1649. So it was a French colony. Um, and continued for the next century. In 1763, Granada was ceded to the British under the Treaty of Paris. British rule controlled until continued until 1974, except for a brief French takeover between 1779 and 1783. However, on 3 March 1967, it was fully granted autonomy over its internal affairs. 
as an associated state. And from 1958 to 62, Grenada was part of the Federation of West Indies, a short-lived federation of British West Indies colonies. It's kind of funny because I was just talking smack about this in one of my videos about how if all the uh, Caribbean nations united, they could uh, uh, be a powerful force. The United Federation of Caribbean States. Yeah, it was a joke I made. So that's funny. Uh and it's literally called the Federation of the West Indies. So I use the word federation. <laughs> That's funny. All right. And independence was granted on 7 February 1974 under the leadership of Eric Gary, who became the Prime Minister of Grenada. Okay, that's all great. Let's get straight to the economy. We don't want this video to be too long. Grenada has a small economy in which tourism is a major foreign exchange earner. Major, huh, I called that. <laughs> Major short-term concerns are the rising fiscal deficit and deterioration in the external account balance. Grenada shares common central bank and common currency with East Caribbean dollar with seven other members, and all of them use the Scottsdale Mint, apparently. Thank you, Scottsdale Mint. All right. Grenada has suffered from a heavy external debt problem with government debt services payments running up about 25% of total revenues in 2017. Grenada has listed as ninth from bottom in study of 126 countries. Agriculture and exports. Nutmeg. Nutmeg looks cool, don't it? Granada is an exporter of several different spices, most notably nutmeg. It's top export and depicted on the national flag and mace. Other major exports include bananas, cocoa, fruit and vegetables, clothing, chocolate, and fish. Tourism is the main same Grenada's economy. Conventional beach and water sports tourism is largely focused in the southern region with St. George. The airport in the coastal regions and uh, eco, uh, ecotourism is growing in its significance. Grenada has many beaches around the coastline, including three kilometer long Grand Anse Beach in St. George, often described as one of the best beaches in the world. Grenada's many waterfalls also a popular tourist attraction. The nearest to St. George's is the N. Annandale Waterfalls. Others include Mount Carmel, Concord, Seven Sisters, and Tufton Hall. Those are very British names for these places. I wonder what the French called them. I wonder what the indigenous people called them. I wonder what the Creole language calls them. All right, several festivals also draw in tours such as Caracal Maroon and String Band Music Festival in April, the annual Budget Marine Spice Island Billfish Tournament, the Island Water World Sailing Week, and the Granada Sailing Festival Work Boat Regatta. Hell nada. Hell to the nada. All right. <laughs> Granada, man. There it is. There it is, Granada. And now you know, if you want to go on a premier deluxe vacation and you don't want to mess around with, uh, you know, any of, the, any of the mess, Granada may not be the place for you because, uh, as we just mentioned, there was a bunch of students who were being held uh, hostage, hostage <laughs> in the 80s. Uh, but... You know, that might have been just a minor misunderstanding. You know, that could have been a mostly peaceful hostage situation. I am sure that all those fine folks in Granada were simply keeping them safe from the uh, unrest. What do you think? You think you think that's what All happened? All I know is it only took four hours to invade and get everybody. Well, out. yeah, I mean, look, we're talking professional military versus uh, whatever the hell we were dealing with there. Um, I'm sure it was a ragtag group of it rebels, was. and they really weren't uh, quite ready for what they got themselves into. <laughs> you know, back well, when that was. You know the little mouse that roared. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, I wish nothing but the best for Granada. You know, I bet their britches felt really big until they didn't. And then they got filled with something. But anyway, we're going to leave it at that. Have an amazing day and thanks for watching. I hope you find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. And if you do not find them, what I want you to do is I want you to like, share, and subscribe so that you can watch this channel and get all the collectibles that your little hearts desire because we aim to please, don't we, Finny? Don't we? Don't we? All right. Bye-bye, guys.